don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This Supreme Guardian... She... She sees further than you or I. All the decisions are not for the security of Malabarg. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't... don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy, <laughs> destroy the Stellaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh. I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian. I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, Doctor, but these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> And it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... feel a little faint. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Mr. Svarog, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of Defense combat data intact. Geomero Development Group Era Records, intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs, intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior, intact. So your memory module is okay? I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping in? There are multiple backups. 
I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are... Memories of family. I understand. Mr. Svarok, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. At daybreak, the Guardian shall be a glittering star, illuminating the people's path. At nightfall, the Guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. Hey. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? <laughs> Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. I don't do envy and etiquette down here. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied, it's all muddled together in my mind. I just... I don't know what I should believe. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? I know your heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. Ha! I knew that you'd get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. Pretty sensible, right? My assignment was simply to take you to Svarog's lair. I got the payment and delivered the goods. I wasn't obligated to tell you about my dinner plans. But I threw in something extra regardless. I only did that because we're friends, or I would have charged extra. Here's a slice of life experience for you. Resourceful businessmen never get into risky trading without a plan B. And a plan B for their plan B. Plan C, we call that. Hey, now, you got me all wrong. I just enjoy watching people fight. That's all. Fierce words, fists flying. What's not to like? Easy there. Don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. Ha ha ha! You see? Gotcha! <laughs> Seriously, though. Sampo will always be happy to assist you. <sighs> the Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. 
your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. No, but we need to wait for the opportune moment. In the meantime, I'm sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Svarog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Corps for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Take a good rest while you still can. Your adventures on the surface won't be easy going. Don't be surprised. My job is just to help everyone make the right calls. You remember Rivet Town? When the Fragmentum Corrosion first appeared, we were defenseless. We didn't have a clue how to protect our homes. After we fled to Boulder Town, I made up my mind. A tragedy like that could never be allowed to happen again. That's why I gathered Oleg and the others together, and created the first sparks of Wildfire. Afterwards, Wildfire began to grow. To be honest, I never thought a day like this would come. <laughs> what do you mean? That's me too, you know. The me that my patients see, at least. Our identities are like masks. When we switch between them, we change the way the world perceives us. But our hearts never change. Well, we don't want to act before the situation has stabilized. We need to wait for the right time. Ten years of being sealed away has sapped the Underworld's vitality. Now that the Furnace Core is no longer blocked off, we need to prioritize the people and replenish our resources. Wildfire has never been in this for its own gain. Everything we do is for the citizens of the Underworld. That passage is a means to an end, not the end itself. We'll leave them be. Svarog may have blocked off the Furnace Core, but he's provided shelter to the Vagrants from the beginning. An admirable deed. There are many homeless people in the Underworld. If they had safety and security, they wouldn't have to struggle to survive. Wildfire can provide that while Svarog is recovering. Things have settled for now. You should rest while you can.